So I've been babysitting a young lady all day. And I, Is that what you call it? No, I, I, I've, <laughs> I have literally been oh. babysitting a young lady all day. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally up on Elmo tickling. Okay. And um, well, Marvel barnyard versus hierarchies. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom is awesome. MVC3. Yeah. Since you're coming in late, you're sort of missing out on the critical character choosing phase. Oh, no, I, I don't think so because there's so many. Yeah. I can't lose. I can't lose. Who has? Does anybody have Iron Man? Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Actually, oh. uh, Robert has a definite affinity for Iron Man. He has an Iron Man Ryu combination. Yeah. Well, see, actually, he could beat pretty much anyone with just Ryu. Oh, really? Did you yeah, see this? Yeah. He he tore through a three-person team of mine with just Ryu a couple times. Oh man. So is, is it the same? Is the same thing where you need to bring the other players in? Mm-hmm. In, order, in, in, in order to take advantage of their health bar, I mean, can you lose if your primary goes down? Oh, no. I mean, if your primary goes down, you don't really have a primary. You have okay. a guy that you start with. Gotcha. Um, but when one dies, the other one just, you know, the next one comes in. Somebody jumps in. And, and they're also destroyed by Robert. And then they're destroyed by Robert, yeah. Yeah. So, so is, is, is he pulling some, some shit where, like, um, Ryu will do, like, a screen-filling beam, yeah. and then the proton cannon will yeah. come in? Yeah. Yeah, he's very good at, at that game. At all iterations. Yeah, I've I've selected Dante for yeah. myself. I saw some hot material in there. Yeah. Well, do they have War Machine or something? I mean, can no, I come... No, you're fucked. <laughs> can I come in with nope. the, the palette swap? No, you lost. That's too bad, really. Yeah, let's go home, I that guess. That Unibeam's pretty cool. It seems good. I, I, the reason I, I mentioned it is because... I have used this beam. Yeah. On multiple occasions. You were familiar with my beam. I know about it. Yeah. You more than anyone. Hmm. It's such a broad roster. Yeah, there's a lot of guys. I unlocked uh, a Sentinel and somebody named the Taskmaster, who I don't know. Yeah, I. there was an opportunity to um, investigate... I mean, they, they they dug deep for some of these characters. Yeah. So it was a, it was a fun opportunity to screw around in the, like Marvel wikis and stuff like that, trying to find out who's Modok. Yeah, yeah. Who some of these dudes are? It's like Modok is a big head. I remember the big head guy, but yeah. the Taskmaster was not in my. Uh, that was not in my zone. Yeah. Is Psylocke in this one? Uh, maybe is an unlockable. There you go. I she's not there right now. But Wolverine's daughter is. I didn't even know Wolverine had a daughter. Yeah, you know, that... I don't... Yeah. Who did Wolverine have sex with? Well, I mean, that's, that's a big part of his, his, his backstory is his time in Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that... I don't know anything about Wolverine. I'm just going <laughs> to stop. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. I think... You know, I, I do, you know... It's like... It's like I'm like a bee... Like, I, I sort of go from wiki to wiki. Yeah. And I collect particles of information. But you uh, don't know about Wolverine's daughter. No, but does she have, like, genetically, does she have, like, claws and shit? She has, like, two claws. That's I not... A... <laughs> I don't know about the rest of it, hmm. what her other powers are. But he didn't, like, he didn't sleep with, with Jean Grey, did he? Listen, let's just... Wolverine's daughter. X-23? Yeah. Oh, is that her name? Yeah. In the thing? Mm-hmm. Jesus! Wow, she actually looks pretty spooky. She's actually really cute in the game. Good Christ! Whoa! Who's her mom? Let's find out. Uh, since the only genetic sample from Weapon X is damaged, Kinney is, able to, is unable to salvage the Y chromosome. Uh, Kinsey proposes, or Kinney proposes the creation of a female genetic twin. Her request is denied. After 22 failed attempts at reconstituting the DNA using a duplicate X, the 23rd sample yields a viable sample to combine with an embryo. Hmm. Interesting. So he didn't have sex with anybody. No, a test tube, I guess. Is his penis adamantium? Yep. No, it wouldn't be, because there's no, no bones. It, it, no, it's, it's adamantium with a tungsten core. No, there's no bones in your penis. And the adamantium was grafted onto his bones, right? Yeah. Not his boner. Which is what you seem to be implying. 
I said that for your benefit. I think a, a Marvel vs. Capcom strip is probably in order. Just for fun. Yeah. For the fun factor. Um, uh, there's definitely, you know, the the pushing buttons and, and then doing something cool and not having any idea how you do it and then not being able to reproduce it ever again. Oh, has this been happening? That's a That's been a real thing across the board for multiple people. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that it's. I imagine that it's actually not that complex. Like those, as I recall, those big maneuvers have to do with a very specific thing that you do at different thresholds of power. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's it, pretty easy to pull that stuff off. Yeah, yeah, it's it's when you do it. I mean, it, it, ba it basically it makes it more tactical. It isn't like um, some of that crazy stuff in like Samurai Showdown or something. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, forward to back, back to forward, Dragon Punch, up down, right. Yeah, these are uh, pretty standard. Like the super moves are just fireball motions. Yeah, generally speaking, that, that's that's sort of the model they've gone to. Uh, but there's definitely times during a fight where your guy will just sort of flip out and do something rad, and you have no idea. But but you still get credit for it. Oh yeah, you still get credit. Like I was playing Kiko, and like you know, I'm just I'm just fucking pushing buttons, and Spider Man shot him and encased him in a web as. Uh, Dante came down and, like, did his screen-filling move, so there was no way for him to block it. Oh, no. And he was like, God, did you plan that? And it's, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Look how awesome that was. <laughs> of course I didn't plan it. Yeah. Something about, uh, you know, the, the craziness of it, button mashing. There's a lot of points, too, where shit's just popping off and you have no idea what's happening. You know, where there's a couple specials happening at the same time. Oh, yeah, and just like four, they're crazy cinematic. Yeah, and you, and you don't even know who's being hit until all the screen clears, you know. Yeah, that reminds me a little bit of, like, back in the day when you used to do all that crazy shit in, um... God, what was it? It was, um... Killer Instinct. Oh, yeah. Where P you'd go to the arcade and people would be doing a combo against you and you would neither of you would be on the screen. Yeah, ultra combo. Ultra combo. And then they would walk away. Remember, because you could buffer the attacks. You could buffer the whole combo. Yeah. So they, they would, would get like a they would get like an icy. And they would drink their icy while they were comboing you. Yes, while you were being while you were being obliterated. Yeah. Off screen. <laughs> but the idea that you don't know that. Like, something amazing happens, and you don't, like, you don't know how it happens. Yeah, I mean, you just, there's some points where you Especially just Especially at the beginning. Get into a little trance where you're just mashing buttons. Yeah, you're communicating with... working. You're communicating with the spirit, with the machine spirit. Yeah. I like that conceptually, but, I mean, in order to make that, in order to sell that, do we need a panel of, of in-game craziness? I don't think so. No? Mostly because I don't want to draw that. Well, fair enough. Listen, that's on me. That's my doing. Yeah, so but basically, I mean, I think the shell of it is right there when Kiko was like, did, did you plan that? Yeah. Because you obviously did not, and it often happens that that is the case. Yeah, if, if you have Gabe and Tycho and Tycho... If something like, incredible happens, I probably would have had nothing to do with it. Yeah. That would be my, you know, my yeah. core assertion. Gabe and Tycho are on the couch, and, and Tycho's like, holy shit, that was incredible. Did you mean to do that? No, I blacked out there a couple of seconds. Well, there's one panel. We need more comic. <laughs> That's all right. Listen, we'll buffer it. We'll buffer it. So in the first panel, Tycho's like, it's like an ant. He's like, wow. <laughs> no, he goes. I am sure enjoying playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with you. And Gabe's like, I am too. It's a fun game. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually not going to let you finish. Okay. I'm going to do the opposite of letting right. you do that. I'm just trying to... I'm going to stop you. Pat it for you. Yes, I know. Mm-hmm. I like Tycho saying that if something incredible happens, I chances are I'm not involved or something <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah, so, so, so if you flip it, it's okay. Yeah, as, but it's as, also more likely because Gabe is actually more likely to have some kind of skill at true. fighters. Because as a rule of thumb, if something incredible happens, I probably wasn't involved. Probably wasn't involved. 
Yeah, I mean, so I wonder, I wonder if there's room for a description of the stuff that happened. Yeah, you're talking about webs and then knives, right? Yeah. Then you turn into a demon. Or a bird. Yeah. Did you mean to do that? What part? It could also be, how did you do that? Yeah. I have, I have no idea. So you didn't mean to do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Tycho's response in the, in the third panel will work, I think, very well. Especially if Gabe holds forth a little bit. Okay. In, um, in, in the second panel, the, the rhythm will be correct. Right? Holds forth as far as... Well, if he, talks about, if he talks a little bit about what happened... Oh, I see. So, it's like, so you didn't mean to... Right? I see. So you didn't mean to knock me up into the air... Yeah, what would be great is if, is if, as you're going through each item, there's a little bubble inside your bubble. It's like, nope. Yeah. Didn't, no, nope. No, nope. Uh-uh. That's, nope. Don't know how that And happened. then just, and then Tycho would just come in with his explanation at the end. My finger so, slipped. So you didn't mean to, <clears throat> to, uh, hurl into the air. Whatever, whatever it ends, whatever the last thing is, it should be exploded into a cloud of psychic knives. Okay. That's funny. Um, so, okay, so, so we, we need a few more maneuvers. Okay. <clears throat> and then, and then after that, I'll put a list of responses from, from, uh, Tycho. Okay. You bounce, bounce me back and forth between your... Juggle me? Juggle me between your three characters. The entire roster? Yeah. Before slamming me to the ground and exploding in a ball of psychic... Yeah, here a cloud go. of psychic knives. There you go. Driving me through the Earth's crust. Yeah, that'll Good be stuff. fun. How do you do that? I have no idea. So you didn't mean to hurl me into the air and no. juggle me between your entire roster also no. before driving me through the Earth's crust no. and explode into a cloud of psychic knives? Just a rule of thumb, if something incredible happens, I probably wasn't involved. It's <laughs> a good punch. Playing some War Machine tonight! Bam! <laughs> <laughs> 